Why does your character resonate so with fans? What is a show? It just has something magical about it. It really does. Uh, cinematically, it is spectacular. I think that Aunt Vi uh, resonates because, you know, she is what I call an archetype. It's like everyone knows her. She's either in our families, or we want to be her, or we have her, or we aspire to be her. And across ethnicities, we all have that aunt right. that represents her strength. I call that aunt the get out of jail free card aunt. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because yes. yes. you know there's that one, but to your point, across the board, no matter where you're from, no matter your background, race, there's that one person That's you it. know you can call and like, That's okay, it went really bad That's when right. I, <laughs> like, they're going to help she, you out. She, she's going to be there. Yeah. And then when there's time, she's going to make you accountable. For what you did wrong. For what you did wrong. You know, and so much of what this book is about is making us accountable to ourselves. Absolutely. Uh, and, and I picked out one of the things you said, what if one day starts today? The future starts today and not tomorrow. Absolutely. So You can yeah. clap. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so many of us uh, are living our lives in survival mode. Mm. And survival mode has you just dealing with what's in front of you. But to actually live your best life, to make sure that you don't leave your life on the table, right? You have to be proactive. You have to think about your life. You have to make choices. And the most important choices are those choices on the inside. Is that what you mean by inner fitness, that term? What does that Absolutely. capture? Um, inner fitness, I define inner fitness as being fit on the inside, developing mental, emotional, and spiritual skills and practices that support you in building strength, inner strength, and resilience so that you can thrive more than survive. Mm. And when you think about it, if you think about like physical fitness, you know, we all know the importance of physical fitness. We are making physical fitness choices throughout the day. You're making those choices when you decide to eat that candy bar or not eat mm -hmm. that candy yeah. bar, right? You're making those 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 choices when you decide to go to the gym or not go How to the gym. How do you make gym. those choices, though, mentally? That's the point, is, is that we must begin to make sure that we are making those kinds of internal choices. Mm -hmm. And a great, a great way to start is to begin to just be more aware of what you do. But you, one of the things you say we do in the book is we lie to ourselves. Absolutely. We all, so what, give me an example of a lie that you discovered you were telling yourself. Yeah, uh, well, you know, any time that we tell ourselves that we're not good enough, that's a lie. Mm. You know, any time, uh, in, in fact, I define a lie in the book as any person, event, or experience that left you feeling less than not good enough or s disconnected from yourself and your sense of what's possible for your life. Mm. Any of those, you know, that teacher saying what she said, your parents behaving however they behaved, they left us with a dark spot. We actually took that on. And now it's our job to, you know, uh, take our power back from that. And part of the book, you say, what is real confidence? I'm bigger than this feeling or experience. It does not define me. It is not here to pull me under. It is here to lift me up. Absolutely. 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 You know, the, the, I wrote the little book of big lies because um, I wanted to give people the kind of book that didn't exist when I was forging my inner fitness journey. And the most important thing that I've learned through inner fitness is that whatever you think you know, uh, is your forever lie, that thing that you've been challenged by for such a long time that you think it's gonna be with you forever, yeah. that is a lie. And you can change your relationship to that thing mm -hmm. through practices, you know, consistent practices, the same way you can change your physical fitness experience. You know, when it comes to your abs yeah. or your 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 endurance or whatever, it takes focus. Yeah. It takes the kind of practices that you'll find in the book, and it takes committing to the idea that you are more than your past experience. Love it. Thank you so much, Tina.